replacing a roof of a home or a business can be a major investment. So you want to make sure you do not get hooked up with a bunch of unlicensed scammers. The scammers, or as I like to call them, the crooks, can be a guy simply in a pickup truck who tells you that the shingles in his hand came from your roof and you need to repair your roof before the rainy season. Of course, the few shingles in his hand are the same ones he uses every day in his scam and then come from your roof. Many of the scam contractors will use second or rejected material for your roofing. Look at that roofing over there, just sitting in the sun, rotting. And look at this one over here. That's not the original packing. You can't see the name of the manufacturer. That's been rewrapped to fool you. And that could end up on your roof. This is Steve Pincus, the president of Royal Roofing Company of Southern California. Royal Roofing has been in the business for 29 years. Royal is on a campaign to warn consumers and business owners about the unlicensed roofing contractors. You have to make sure that the contractor has workman's comp insurance or just one worker falling off your roof could mean you'd have to sell your home to pay for his medical bills. Your homeowner's insurance doesn't cover it. It happened to a woman in Glendale. Steve, what is the major roofing scam? Judd, the, the most important roofing scam or the number one roofing scam is reject roofing materials, seconds in roofing materials. No one knows if it's first quality seconds or reject. But as evidenced by these pictures, there's big business, 100,000 square foot warehouses plus that sell uh, second rate materials for 10 cents or 50 cents on the dollar. Unless they get involved and have aggressive education from their roofing contractors that are bidding the jobs, they'll never know. It'll just get uh, nailed on the roof or hot mopped on the roof without them knowing what's going on. The materials have to be in factory labeled wrappers with the barcodes and the underwriter laboratory and the name of the company versus just materials that you showed the viewers that are just in brown wrap or white wrap or they're just in plastic wrap and that that's 50 cents 10 cents 25 cents on the dollar it's junk material steve how can a consumer check on a contractor's license everybody says licensed bonded and insured that's just a given that's a standard reply but when you go and check the contractor's license board here's one contractor that's got 15 violations departed from trade standards aided and embedded a non-licensee associated with a discipline license did not provide the right to cancel the california right and here's their their second violation this is a lot of violations so unless you do your homework and check the contractor state license board website you'll never know if this contractor has violations or in good standing but here's one this license is revoked unable to contract at this time this company has no workers no employees and has does not have workers comp at their at this time steve why is it important for a contractor to have workman's comp it's critically important. No worker's comp means that if there's an injury on your job, a man, they overload the roof and he falls through a board breaks or hot tar burn or something. If there's no worker's compensation insurance, it falls on the homeowner. Homeowner's insurance uh, does not cover worker's comp injuries because you've hired either an unlicensed or an uninsured contractor. There's that little verbiage in your home policy. You must hire a credible licensed and insured contractor. If you don't, you're then personally liable and you can lose your house or your building. One of the things that uh, we set up, one, trying to educate customers, but we have a consumer checklist for three or four bids that they get. And some of the highlights of it is uh, the license. How old is the license? Everybody says 30 years in business or 20 years in business and that, but how old is the physical license, which means how old is that company? Is it a year old or 10 or 20, whatever? Uh, ours happens to be over 25 years, but you can get a credible company that's 10 years in business. Then is the license clean? Is there a better business bureau rating? Do they have a physical office or the PO box? And then here's a listing, workers' comp insurance, a policy liability and umbrella uh, do they have in-house crews so we prepared a client checklist because they don't know the questions to ask in the roofing business to get a bid this is very helpful in answering questions and making sure they're doing the proper checklist to hire a contractor